Hey guys, Abysmal here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Well, uh, we pretty much finished uh, most of the burning stuff I want to do. I don't think I want to do any more of that. What I really want to do today is actually uh, work on uh, getting our kill nut. Um, and, you know, I'm going to have an influx of zombies pretty much non-stop, I think. Um, it just seems like it's type of map for that. It is survival hardcore, but it just I, I don't see an area where I can really... Uh, get some good crafting done without being bothered so and not, not without a sledgehammer you know I'm not gonna be able to do anything um, as in securing my place a little bit better as in taking down the stairs because that's what needs to be done so in order to take down the stairs I'm actually gonna have to do a few things um, we're gonna have to vent we're gonna have to make a, a kiln or smelter I'm gonna have to get my blunt maintenance up just a little bit more so then uh, I can actually make a smithy hammers and stuff like that but I'm just doing a little bit of clearing right now and try to make our area just a, a tad bit more safe because I'm going to do a tad bit of uh, crafting right now and then we'll make our kiln first of course and then I think I got um, concrete laying around somewhere we'll, we'll probably grab some of that up I, I don't remember exactly where I put it I see I didn't or I haven't yet to organize anything I've been still waiting to clean up the area as much as possible but it seems like you know that that's just gonna be an endless process yeah just little piles of zombies everywhere I go that's alright that's alright I like taking care of little piles they're fun right yeah that got them all I didn't want all you guys now I gotta separate the fast ones from the slow ones they'll be coming out uh, we're a little tired we could definitely use some sleep right now and we'll deal with that in a bit. Come on, guys. Get some good uh, separation going on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. That's what we want to see. Uh, of course. Now I gotta deal with these fast ones. You can't get them to separate. Then you always have problems. Got a few over here too. All right, let's kite these guys around a bit. Okay. I think just a few more. Not too many more. Once we get the fast ones down. The rush shouldn't be too hard. Come on, separate a bit. Okay. I'll take chances when they don't separate as much. Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah? No? No, not you. Maybe you. Oh, oh no, 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 no. You guys are gonna stay away from me like that. I'm trying to get all close and personal to me. There we go. Anything behind me? No. Shouldn't be. Yeah. You guys are gonna get stomped out. Nothing like some good old brain stomping. And we, I've been taking a look on them, just make sure that uh, they don't have any like food items. Food items are kind of important for me right now. Yeah, not really seeing anything. Okay, so I'm gonna gather, um, I guess, the supplies I'm gonna need. The kiln shouldn't be hard at all, but if I, uh, you know, if I work on that uh, for a second, just gathering stuff. So I'll be back in one second, guys, and then uh, get uh, all the supplies I need for the kiln. All right, be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. Um, I got pretty much all the supplies I think I'm going to need to actually make our kiln and stuff. Um, I don't know exactly where I want to put it. Maybe over the, the bad area. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it over here in the corner. There's a nice little desk right here. Maybe like here. That, that's fine. Whatever. But um, let's go ahead and unpack all this clay. I think I read the pottery book already, but we'll, we'll take a look real quick just to make sure. Um, it's going to be here and yeah, it looks like I got the pottery book, so that shouldn't be a problem. 
Um, and a kiln is just 50 uh, clays, either red or gray. Um, I always choose to use the the gray ones just because, you know, it, it just makes sense to make the gray ones because the red ones are actually used for red bricks and stuff. But I do have red bricks too, so it's not like that's going to be a big deal. So if we open uh, each bag, I think is worth 20. So I think that's uh, 40 clay and then uh, one more bag to do it. And then that gives us 60 clay. And then we should be able to craft our kiln here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get one of these kilns crafted up. And where do I want to put it? Um, I don't know. We'll just put it kind of close to the to the room for right now. Maybe like right here. Oh, man. I wish it would be better. Like this is a small little kiln now. You know, they, they, they were so much bigger before. <laughs> I actually, you know what, I, I think I might have messed that up too because I don't. I think I need to reload my 3D objects and everything and that's why I'm not getting it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll check and take a look. I don't know if they've uh, the artwork's been done yet on the 3D models for those. Alright, um, the next thing we want to make is actually a smelter, which is actually a little bit harder. I think it's under uh, masonry and if it's not, yeah, okay, we can make a smelter. And that's uh, 50 uh, red bricks and 25 gray clay. So we can open up some more gray clay. That's interesting that it's gray clay now. I think that was added. I didn't have that before in a mason trowel. Um, oh, so we don't even need cement anymore. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. I had the cement stuff already to make. I didn't make any cement yet, but I did have it ready. So we just need 25 gray clay. I guess we do need gray clay now for, for that. Hmm. Interesting. And I do have a pallet of bricks here so if we just unpack these we can put the bricks on the ground here yeah let me pick it all up yeah and they put a whole bunch on the ground all right um is that going to be enough yeah let's go ahead and make our smelter then that's uh, that's cool though that they changed the um, requirements i guess for a smelter because it used to be that you needed cement i guess uh People were like, just like t trying to ground it a little bit better. I guess you could just put clay around the edges. And that is true. Let's uh, get this crafted up. So that's to allow us to get our smelter, which means we're going to be able to make iron goods. But the next thing we're actually going to need is like an iron anvil. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that today. Well, let, we'll take a look, see what the requirements for that's going to be. Okay, let's uh, put the smelter like right here. Okay, so now we have a smelter, we have a kiln, we have some red bricks on the ground. Alright, the next thing I wanted to work on is making our iron anvil, which I think it's under blacksmithing. We still have a lot of books we haven't read, but, um, you know, we'll get to that when we get a chance. Oh, isn't that too bad? It's not under that, so... Or may maybe I just wasn't... Yeah, it should be anvil. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look. Iron anvil. Maybe I was I don't, I don't think I was spelling anvil wrong. Uh, I really was hoping it was under blacksmithing. So if it's not under blacksmithing, um, it probably may maybe may no, it wouldn't be masonry. It has to be blacksmithing, and I just don't have the book yet. That is too bad, but we'd need a ton of iron to make it anyways, at least last time I remember. Oh, maybe it's here. Maybe... Huh. No, not seeing anvils anywhere. There has to be an anvil somewhere, because then I'd have to make a blast furnace, which I would need... The Well, blast furnace is the next thing we want to make. That one we definitely need concrete for, and we need... A pulley, bellows, wooden crate, and then the iron ingots. So probably today we'll probably smelt a little bit of uh, iron today. It's probably not a bad idea. Um, and at the kiln, we're going to have to also make a whole bunch of... Um, we have to make a whole bunch of charcoal. I have a whole bunch of zombies downstairs. I think I'll just burn those up. Let's go ahead and go grab some then. Uh, I'm going to open the can of beans, start eating this. Let me have some beans. Okay, let's eat half of that. That should be enough. Alright, I'm going to put the red bricks down too. 
and we'll grab a few of these zombies down here well I, I'm gonna have to clear out my inventory hat so let's uh put this stuff like this red clays and things like that we'll put it in this box over here no oh, come on I should fast forward through that So to grab bodies, we're gonna have to unequip this. Cause you have to grab them with two hands. So let's just do that. Oh, we got all these zombies here. I guess before I pick up all these zombies, I should make um, sheet ropes out of them all. I'll get all the sheet ropes I can get out of it. And um, maybe take the golf clubs. Is that everyone? Let's make some sheet ropes. Normal hiking bag. I don't necessarily need it, but I'll take the nails and stuff and the kitchen knife. Those are all kind of important. All right. And let's make ropes out of all those. And we'll start uh, gathering our rope supply so then uh, our ro rope supply isn't limited and we can start doing stuff with that. All right, so with corpses, we can grab corpse and then we'll just lug them over here. And as long as I have a lighter or magnesium striker or anything, I should be able to just light this up. But yeah, I don't think you need to light it up. Let's see, uh, make charcoal. Okay, now we got charcoal. I'm just going to put that on the ground. I like to have it on the ground with my kiln because it makes it easy just to grab stuff up and then make things. So I wanted to make some ingot molds. Um, we'll make all five. That's fine. Wait, wait. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot he did tell me about that. You can burn yourself now by being too close to the kiln. I forgot all about that. <laughs> Alright, okay, clean burn with rip sheets, and then we'll just go ahead and bandage that. I, I forgot all about that. Yep, you could do that now. So I just did it. And that's just because I, I wasn't used to it. I was standing right over the kiln. Don't stand over the kiln, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and make ingot molds. We'll make the rest of those real quick. Okay. That should be all of them that we want to make. Um, now that we have ingot molds, we can also smelt some things, so we can think about doing that. I don't really need to at this moment, but that's good to know. That's another thing down, and I really thought Anvil, I know it's in blacksmithing, but I don't think I have the right book for it. Yeah, because it lo doesn't look like I have all of the recipes. I there might be some missing, or maybe I'm missing a book. And I just can't think of which one. I thought it'd be under uh, engineering. I thought it'd be under blacksmithing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I don't have it. Yeah, I, I just, it would have popped up, I would have thought. And maybe some of the things have changed too. So like a sledgehammer would need the iron anvil. Yeah, so, you know, it should pop up anvil. And it's not. So there's a book I'm missing and we'll have to find that somewhere. It's definitely not under pottery or anything. It wouldn't be under masonry either. I mean, I'll take, I mean, there's anvil mold. That's true. But without having the anvil recipe, I can't really make it right now. Let's see, uh, research maybe? Can I research that? No. Launchers, trap maker, nah. I have to take a look at this because, you know, sometimes, you know, things get moved around. Hmm. Nope, not seeing it. All right, weaving, leisure. I think everything else is pretty much, I'm pretty sure is not going to, it's not going to be under uh, uh, alchemy. Uh, it's not going to be under anything else. Yeah, it's something I'm missing right now. I'm pretty sure it's not carpentry either. Alright, so we'll have to wait on making an anvil. I guess the blast furnace would be the next thing we'd want to make. That we can make. And since that will allow us to make steel. And at least with steel, we can start working on collecting as much steel around the area that we need. Let's eat the rest of this. 
Okay, so the blast furnace is going to need thick rope, um, a pallet of red bricks, which we just used some of them, so we can make some more bricks probably uh, pretty easily. We just need to go over to the kiln and we can make some more bricks. Uh, plus, we have uh, 50 here anyway, so I guess we don't need to. We could just make a pallet right now. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all I needed for a pallet. Oh, I need the thick rope? No, I got thick rope. Hmm. Why is it not giving me the option to make a pallet? Uh, pallet. Pallet of red bricks. Um, oh, I need a hundred. Okay, well that's fine. We can get a hundred. We just need to cook up some red bricks. Uh, let's see. It's not letting me do it. Okay. Probably because I don't have the gray clay, I mean the red clay out. I just want to make sure if we do this, it should be fine. I might need a uh, ingot. I mean, I might need a mold for to make uh, um, bricks. No, I can make them all. Okay, uh, make red bricks. Why is am I only gonna be able to make a couple? What are we? What are we gonna use up? Oh, it's the charcoal we'll use up. Okay, so I'll work on making a um, hundred. What? Are you serious? I'm not standing on it though. Oh man, it's because of the 3D images. That is not cool. That is not cool at all. It's like I'm I'm pretty far away from it already. See, look, I'm getting burnt again. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, <laughs> it allows me to use it, and I didn't have my work gloves on. That's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. So that's a new thing to know. I have work gloves. I'm just too close. What am I? Just too close to it? I don't know, guys. I, I have to be really far away from it now. I think it's still taking up the space that it used to take up. Like, it was really big when the, beforehand with the big model. And then, yeah, I think that's what's going on. I'm just running into... Oh, I should have put the charcoal on me. I didn't even think about that. Oh, well. We'll burn that up with the next zombie. So, let me go ahead and make uh, 100 uh, red bricks. And we'll then we'll carry on with making the blast furnace, the different other parts of it. All right, but you got be back in a second, guys. Once I get the enough charcoal, enough uh, bricks out. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, I'm bringing you back because I've been working at the kiln a little bit, and I've burnt the hell out of myself so many times now. Um, I think it's a, a a chance to be burnt now because I've I've tried it like as far away as possible, and sometimes it burns me, and sometimes it doesn't. So it's just a chance to be burnt right now. I don't know if you can lessen the chance depending on the gear you're wearing or anything like that. Like I'm not wearing a shirt right now. Maybe if I'm wearing a shirt it'd change it. I don't know. I'd really have to look into it a little bit more. And I'm a little bit uh, cautious about actually doing this right now and uh, hurting myself too much because I'm already, you know, I'm severe pain already right now. And that's not good. I don't want to be in severe pain. So I think uh, I'm going to lay back on that for a little bit. I don't know how bad you can get. I know severe pain is a problem. Speed and accuracy reduce. And maybe, well, I don't know. I don't really know what, how I want to approach it. But anyways, got two bandages going from burns and stuff. And burns take a long time to heal, guys. So I should, uh, I'm just going to be uh, a little bit, I'm not going to keep going at it right now. That That's just uh, too much. Oh, you know what? There's a raincoat. I needed a raincoat. Alright. If that's being uh, said, then uh, you know maybe we'll have to look around a little bit more. I think I have more red uh, bricks somewhere over here anyways. Also, you know what I'm going to need to make is a bucket. I need to make a bucket. So let's go ahead and go make a bucket real quick. I know I have all this wood out here. I think I have my saw on me. Normally I carry it with me. Uh, I guess not today. <laughs> Let's go get our saw real quick. And then uh, I think I can make it anyways because I got red bricks in the other building. And that would make sense not to use, not to go after anything else. I mean, not to make my own red bricks. Because it's just uh, way too damaging. Alright, I think I'm... Yeah, there it is. There's my saw. Alright. And I want to make some blocks and some rings. And then let's make ourselves... Uh, Two wooden buckets, because I know it needs a lot more than just one. So make 
wooden blocks, uh, one of those, because it makes a lot of them out of one log. Okay, and then uh, we'll make wooden rings, uh, one of those. We need two of them. Okay, now we got the wooden rings done. And then can we make a wooden bucket? Yeah, we can make two of those. It'll take a second. Probably just fast forward it. Uh oh, gunshot. That's not good. Alright, there's gunshots. Shots have been fired! <laughs> I think we're okay though. We're okay for now. Alright, we need a little bit of food. Um, eh, I, I haven't been wanting to eat these, but we will. Yeah, I knew that gunshot was going to attract something. All right, let's see what else we got. It's just you. All right. Anything else that attracted? I'm hoping it doesn't bring all my zombies that I'm burning that are down below. It shouldn't. It shouldn't drag zombies that far. Okay. Now we just need for blast furnace. Uh, no, we don't want that. Let's see. Blast furnace, just the red bricks, pile of red bricks, uh, wooden bucket, a pulley and bellows. I'd have to make a bellows, so I'd have to make leather. So I'm going to have to do more foraging. So I wouldn't even be able to finish that today. I mean, I think I can make leather off of uh, human uh, the zombie corpses. But I think that got changed a little bit too, if I if I remember correctly. So I all the leather process is all different. So we gotta do something about that too. So I don't know. Um, I guess the rest of the day is just gonna be spent cleaning up uh, all these zombies that somehow got into my compound here. I'd like to really get my carpentry skill up, and I'm thinking we have focus on that here pretty soon. Okay. Duffel bag. Uh, nothing really that important. Alright, we are kind of slow, and I think that's because of the severe pain. And I probably have to get some uh, pain meds and things like that. But, you know, I guess we could end it here today because we did make our um, kiln and we made our smelter. And we did realize we can burn ourselves with. I do want to do some research on that to see if there's any way to minimize the risk of being burnt and stuff. So uh, I guess that'll be it then today, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see further. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.